this conversation is important because sadly it's still an issue all over the world. I think it's something that's been silenced for a really long time. Because of what's happening right now with the uh, missing and murdered Aboriginal women? Well, I think it's crucial, particularly in Canada, given the recent reports of you know, more than 1,200 missing and murdered Indigenous women in our country alone. Number one, to draw attention. Number two, to start reframing how society addresses the issue. Uh, and also number three, to educate. To improve society as a whole and really strive for complete and total equality, we really need to make sure we're um, paying attention to the stories that often get overlooked. It just raises awareness to the different stories that are out there of these women. We really need to let Indigenous women know that they're valued. Even though we have the inquiry, even though we have the truth and reconciliation and the calls to action, it's still a really slow process. We need to have the conversations to make sure that it's still in people's minds. The sickness is silence. Silence is like a disease that just spread among our people and our nation. And our using our voices is how we combat that. It's like medicine for the soul. Without this conversation, uh, we are going to continue moving forward in the same way that we always have. And the way that we always have isn't good enough. We need to come together um, and break down those barriers of racism, misunderstanding, and ignorance, and even and misconceptions, but also the denial of the, the truth, I think, is something that as a journalist is my responsibility. It's just, there's so many stories that, that aren't being heard at all. And that group of people that can turn out to be leaders and teachers and mothers and so many wonderful things need to have their voices. And I think the fact that all these women have, have been silenced, um, we just need to honor them and let other women in similar places and of similar backgrounds know that they're valued. So it can't be ignored, it can't be just dismissed. I think it's time that we bring light to these issues that people don't seem to want to look at or they're afraid to look at, maybe because the, the problem is just so big you don't really know where to start with it, but I mean we have to start somewhere. A lot of people think the problem is so huge that, you know, what can I do? I can't do anything. Um, but you can. We need to be having this conversation as Canadians because it's a reality, it's truthful, it's happening now. As you listen to these stories, you'll catch yourself catching your preconceived ideas and, and opinions. We can't any longer say, well, it's your fault, right? We have to start stepping forward and saying, how can I help? What can we do to keep you safe? What do you need to become strong, stronger than you already are? And also we need to start valuing that strength. And to um, put a stop to this national tragedy.